What's going on guys? I'm John Malecki and today we're going to do another kit from Rockler Woodworking to celebrate my 30,000 Instagram followers. I give a big thanks to Rockler and check it out. Here I'm cutting the blank in half. Um, it is a resin injected maple burl. It's pretty cool. Just cut it right down the center and then I'm going to go ahead take it back over to the bench and tape it back together. The reason I do this is because it's much harder to resaw later once you have the shape cut out for the handle. So I like to put it back together and do it in this order. Once you have your blank tape back together, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you're taping off the blade itself for the knife. Um, you don't want to cut yourself while working with it, so go ahead and be safe here. I lay out the blank then and see where I want the handle to be with what's going on on the blank itself and then trace it with something that is easily visible. In this instance, I'm using a silver marker. After that, you want to go ahead and use the bandsaw to cut out the shape of your handle. Um, staying outside the line, you'll use the sander to uh, get close to that after you're done cutting. Lay out your handle again on the side that you originally used for the layout process. And you can either tape it down um, with the double sided tape again, or I just use some painter's tape here to keep it in place. Now I am drilling through all three of them so that the holes line up exactly where I want them. For this specific model of knife, the, um, the rivets go the entire way through the handle. So I like to do it this way. Take apart your blanks and mark the insides. That way you um, know correlation wise which ones you want facing in. Um, and then I take these over to the sander because my widths were a little bit off and I didn't cut my blank directly down the middle initially on the bandsaw. Um, here I'm getting those to the same width so it's easier to work with and then I'm also tapering the handle that will go into the blade part. Um, it's just easier to do at this point than it is down the line that way you're not scratching up the knife blank itself once you get there. Onto assembly, um, I'm going to use CA glue and before that I go ahead and rough up the knife blank itself with some sandpaper. Uh, this just helps with the adhesion process. You can also use a two part epoxy, uh, quick dry epoxy, I've done that on a bunch of handles as well. I happen to have some CA glue from Rockler as well on hand so I went ahead and used that um, and just apply it to both sides liberally and then I used some TIG wire to align my holes to make sure that everything was in place. You can also use the pins that came with your kit to do this as well. I take some hand clamps and I make sure that it's as aligned as I can get it and clamp it in place and let that thing sit and dry. After about 20 minutes, I take the clamps off and you can tell it's one of them stuck to it because it had the plastic on it still. But that means the glue's dry, so nice and solid there. I use a little um, razor blade to scrape off some excess that's on the outside and then I'm going to get over to the oscillating spindle sander to do some shaping. So on the sander, I am roughing the shape of the handle down to as close as I can get it to the original knife blank. Um, it will sand the blank and scratch that up. You just have to do a little buffing on the back end to get the scratches out. Um, but this is the easiest way I've found to get your knife handles down to shape. I throw in the round part instead of the flat um, belt and go ahead and start shaping the handle down to round off corners and such. and. Uh, you can do this in a multitude of ways. You can do this all by hand. You can use a rasp. You can use a flap disc on your grinder. Whatever is easiest for you or whatever you have available. Okay. 
Once I get the rough shape on the oscillating, I go over and start hand sanding the handle down to final shape. I'm using 80 grit, 120 grit, 220 grit, 320 grit, and 400 grit to get it down final to the size I want. Um, the burl and the resin actually sand pretty well, and this is my first time doing something with it, so it took me a little bit longer to polish up the resin parts and get the scratch marks out, but it was um, just me taking my time and I actually got down and wet sanded slightly with that 400 grit and you can see that in the next step. Worked pretty decently. Um, this is a knife handle for myself. If it was for a client I would have put a little bit more time into it and probably buffed out the wax and, and done a few more steps, but I, uh, I was pleased with the way it looked and it, and it goes in my personal collection. So you can see here that that color is really starting to pop once I got it wet and uh, and then I was able to get a decent amount of those scratch marks out doing it this way. In this step I am just countersinking where the uh, rivet screws will go in and hold the knife together. It's a, um, I think it's a 3 8 inch head and I just slightly go down into the wood and then I reference it off of the cap of the screw itself to make sure that they're both equal and uh, and that the head will be beneath the surface of the knife handle. I popped the screws in on both sides and now I'm just applying some wax. I like to put wax on knife handles. I like the feel of it. It's um, a little more gritty and it feels good in my hand. That's just my personal preference. Um, and you can buff this out as much as you'd like. You can also use a wipe on poly. You could use a spray lacquer and you could use a multitude of finishes. Um, for me, it's what I had on hand, and it was easy, and it was uh, something that I like the feel of when I'm making a knife handle. You can see it's got a pretty decent shine, and that's not even putting it on the buffing wheel. Awesome. So this knife turned out pretty damn cool. Um, my first time working with a burl or with anything that was resin injected. So I'm uh, very pleased with how this turned out, and I, and I think it's a beautiful piece. Um, it was very easy. It took me about, I don't know, a little over an hour between doing some other stuff in the shop. So... I highly advise checking these out. Their knife kits are, like I said, great gifts and they are awesome heirlooms, um, especially if you're using some cool rare woods. I got a ton of blanks in my shop, I know, from having cutoffs and doing other projects, so this is, these are a good way to use those up, um, especially if you're doing exotic hardwoods that you might be using in cutting boards or other stuff. So appreciate you checking this video out and I appreciate all of you guys that are participating in the giveaway. Please click the links down below and follow all of the instructions to get entered to win yourself a kit for one of these bad boys. Um, the kits themselves are run from anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks and then the burls depending on, or excuse me, the blanks depending on how fancy they are are anywhere from 10 to 100. So um, you can get a pretty awesome value out of this giveaway. Check it out. I'm fascinated with this resin. This is so cool.